Hello there. What's the sound of that that I hear? Could it possibly be the bandwagon coming to pick me up for jumping on? <laughs> what do I have in this box? Well, let's find out, shall we? Let's just find out. You probably, if you are a part of the planner community at all, have probably seen what's happening. What everybody's doing flips of. I'm going to invoice some of those out of the way. What Vanessa doesn't have. Look at this little tiny box. How cute is this? Let's see what we have in here. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so little. Yep. This is a pocket. And it's so tiny and adorable. <laughs> um, do I need this? No. No, I don't. Do I want it? Yeah, I do. So, okay, I'm not going to, let's, okay, first let's look at this. Let's just take a look, okay? Let's look at what kind of one I got. I was asking somebody the other day, somebody had one of these for sale, and I was like, oh, is this one of the really textured ones or really smooth? And she was just like, well, I'm not going to open it to take pictures for you. And I was like, okay, never mind. Uh, this it looks really nice. This is not the, like, super, super smooth of, like, my companions, uh, my standard TNs are really, really smooth, more like this. This one has a little bit of texture, which is nice. I prefer a little bit of texture. I don't like pebbled leather, but I do like the texture. Let's look at the fly leaf. So here we've got three card slots, which I think is so cute. And then this is the front side, and it is fairly smooth. There's a little bit of texture here around the corners, but that looks really nice to me. Let's open it up. <laughs> it's so cute. All things little, right? All things little are just adorable. Does it lay flat? Nope, sure doesn't. So it's brand new. It's gonna have to be trained. I have found with these ring planners, like my um, my um, personal size in the Veg Town leather, that if you roll it a little bit like this, don't freak out, it's okay. It's leather, it can take it. And then if you put stuff in the pockets also, it will lay flatter. The first thing we're gonna do I think is take out these rings because these are 19 millimeter and these are tiny and I ordered some 25s let's look at the difference yeah huge difference I'm pretty sure these are 25s are these 25s or 30s I think I ordered 25s it doesn't say does it see it on the box ring mechanism 25 I was like, I'm pretty sure I ordered 25s. Um, I just think that overall the um, the 19s will be way too small for me. Like even if I just put in a couple things. So I thought I would show you guys. I've never done this before. This is the first time I am trying to. Is this going to even work? Yeah. I've never changed Motrim rings ever. Um, I've seen other people do it. And it looked really simple. Um, easier than any other rings that I've ever seen. It's basically, it's just two flat head screws that you um, undo. Oh, I've got washi on the back of my hand. <laughs> of course I do. Okay, pop them off. So that was super easy. Okay. And then you put the new ones on. And then just put the screws back in. Um... I thought, I really thought about doing, oops, doing 30, but I think 30 in a regular pocket would just be too, um, I think it'd be too much. I have 30 in my Gilios and, um, oh my gosh, of course I decided to do this on camera. Of course I did. There we go. I think it's in now. 
sometimes I just feel like reality is a good thing to see. I'm, I mean, if you don't want to watch this, you can always fast forward it, right? But, um, okay, one's in. And then let's see if I can get this one in. It is just kind of a tiny little area to get that in. Straight. Okay, here we go. But um, yeah, this is like 100 times easier than cross rings. I've changed cross rings. I had 25 uh, millimeter black um, matte rings on my um, my personal. And I ch wanted to change them to bigger size. Oh, that's much better. Oh, so I can put the screwdriver away. And it was really hard <laughs> to get them off. This is so much easier. Like I really think all ring planners should just have it like this because that was very convenient and very easy to do so okay now we've got 25 millimeter rings in there this has the full back pocket so let's set this puppy up so it does come with a fly leaf which i love i might use this for a while as a wallet i'm not sure i've thought about it um it comes with just some plain paper but it's cream and i'll show you i've been working i'm hoping i did print these right and that they fit i printed um, some inserts. So these are from, where are they from? <laughs> of course, it just completely skipped my mind. Peanuts Planner Co. <laughs> these are free. I did not want to spend a lot of money to set this up. I wanted to do it for free. So I'm getting this ready for 2023. So these are the 2023 monthly. It comes with um, like a monthly planner overview with some check mark boxes. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I'll put that there. Yay, they fit. And then um, January through December of 2023. So I printed them purposefully not back to back so that I could use the back of these pages. Either I could put inserts in between like for weeks or dailies, or I could um, use the back for stickers, deco, things like that. So I purposefully did that. So yeah. So we have all of these in for the month and then the back also, let's see, this should be just, oh, I've got some blank um, December. And then I have some just blank paper from the printing that I cut to size. And then I have the little um, 2023 notes on the back. So let's see if we can put these on here. And um, yeah, I just, these were free. So I thought, hey, why not? Um, also, I got these which is a fold out, um, it's two of them if you want all 12 months. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna use these for. I was thinking about doing like a word a day kind of a thing on here. I thought that would be super cute. Um, I've got October, this is from SM Plans. And yes, I cut the bottom too small. So the way I did these for Pocket was I just downloaded it and then I um, did it like four to a page on my printer. Um, these are from the Plantastic Planner Girl. She has different sets for like how to study the Bible, favorite Bible verse. Um, same thing, I did these four to a page. This is like a tracker for like daily Bible reading for the whole year that you can just, you know, color in, which I think is what I'm gonna do, color in a box um, per day to track that. And then these blank square grid papers were again from Peanuts Planner Co. I did do the 2022 notes just for referencing, and I'll probably put that in the back somewhere. Yeah, I'll put that in the very back. So let's see if we can put these in here. Yeah, Plantastic Planner Girl, I'll link her in the bottom. She has some cute stuff. Um, she has some, some sets. You just message her that you're interested in them, and then um, work that out with her. Oh, I thought I cut that one wrong, but it was just, these are so tiny. So yeah, these are just a bunch of note paper that I can use for that. It's probably, none of them are gonna be perfect, but that's okay, nothing that I ever do is perfect, which is fine with me. Um, it's just real, guys, it's just how I roll. It is what it is. Okay, I did buy a few things. What did I buy? I went to Cat's Presso Co. So first of all, I went to Cat's Presso Co. and I bought a few of these dividers. You've seen them in all my ring planners. The super good quality, 
Um, these two are clear, obviously two pictures per side or stickers. Um, this is like a secretarial and a regular pocket. And then this one I thought was so cute. It has a regular pocket and secretarial and it has like heart glitter. And then this one I thought was really cute. It just has little paws and it's like a little folder that you can put stuff, stuff in. So I thought that was really cute. Um, then, okay, so I bought that. Then I went on Amazon and I typed in like A7 uh, insert and this came up. These are, let's see if they fit. They do. Oh my gosh. So what are these? These are top loaders. Yeah, they're top loaders. So you can put stickers, pictures, whatever you want to put in there. And it was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> like 12 or something of them. Um, and they're very thin, which I like for a situation like this where you're trying, you know, like, Obviously, I'm going to stuff this thing. Like, that's why I got it. I love really chunky stuffed planners. But also, um, you know, it's small. Your real estate is small. So I'm going to separate this out. So let's do the months. We'll do that. And then, okay, so let's slide that over. And then I'll put another one. And I'll put this one with the two. And then we have these two fold outs. And then I'm gonna use, where did I do with the kitty cat one? Where did, where did I put it? Oh, kitty cat one's in the back, okay, cool. So I'll put one of these ones here. And then we've got a couple of these. And then I'll put another one. And I'll put this one. And then I'm gonna put some stuff in it and we'll see like what, what else, like if I need to add more of these. Um, but anyways, these were on Amazon, they were super cheap. So um, I have, it came with these dailies and even though they're white, I am just gonna put some in because they came with it. So we'll just grab a small stack of these to put in. And let's decide where I wanna put them. So we have monthly. Maybe towards the back after these note pages. Okay. I'll put these in. And then I'll put another one of these and I can put something cute in there. And then maybe I'll put October underneath of that. I did not do the best printing on that. So that's, that still looks cute. Maybe I'll put some cute washi up on the top of that so it'll look kind of adorable. Um, it does come with a washi card, which is nice. So where do I wanna put that? Hmm. Cute. Okay, so I have those. I have extra of those. And then I have these cute tiny little um, sticky notes from High Paper Cloud, which I, they're so, like, they're a little size. So it seems like they would be a good fit, you know, to put in here. So. Hmm. Okay, so this is two. This is not double-sided. So I'll put these on the back of here. And then maybe some of the round ones. Or should I put the square ones? Should I put a round one there? Yeah, let's put a round one. Let's put a few of those. That's super cute. <clears throat> okay, and then I do want to get some... I'm gonna add in like some vellums and stuff. I don't know what 
films I want to put in here. This is so cute. Did I put this in upside down? Oh no, I didn't. I didn't put it in upside down. Okay. Where did I put all those pictures? This would be really cute. I might have to print out some new ones. That and I'll have to do some vellum. So let's see. I think for right now, maybe that is, I don't know, should I do more? Should I do more on camera or should I, I was thinking I could put Pookie Bear. Let me see if she'll fit back here. Oh, she does fit in there really cutely. That might get messed up a little bit because of this, huh? Well, we'll see how it goes. I'll put Pookie Bear in there. I thought I might put like a picture or something right there. Trying to see if I have any other little things that I might want to add in there that might fit. Let's see. See, I could put something like that in there, but I might have to trim it. Yeah, I did not like super get everything together. I'm not like super, I mean, do you guys expect that of me? I think at this point, none of you do. I think you all expect me to just kind of fly by the seat of my pants, which is exactly what I'm doing. That is definitely my MO. So this is cute. Well, yeah, it's like a whole new. A whole new size to kind of get used to. I, I was thinking about um, maybe I'll put some vellum underneath of that or some acetate or something, something pretty like that um, to go in there. And then. Um, What else do I want to put in there? This is totally, if you're going to ask me, like, what is the point of this planner? I'm going to straight up tell you it's just for fun. I would just want to enjoy it. I just want to have a good time playing with it, playing with the size, um, putting, like, whatever I want to put in it. I could probably punch that as, like, a page marker for today. That would be good. I got these from um, the Honey Bee Shop. This is just a whole punch that I got from Amazon. I actually need to get a new one. So let me see how high do I want that to stick out? Maybe right to the top. So right about there. Yeah, I got this from Amazon. And then I will go ahead and... I don't always... So when it comes to inserts, I when I first started this, I was like, oh, you know, you can slot the pages and then they're easy to take on and off. But what I found is that they fall out. So then you're constantly like one corner's falling out and whatever. And then I saw where you can like, you cut it on an angle. So like how I just cut this straight, you don't cut it straight. You cut it at an angle like that. So it does stay on a little bit better. But for something like this, it's like on a thicker like acetate or... Um, like this one in the back that's from Cat Espresso Co. is made like that, that's on this like thicker acetate sheet, you know? So it's made so that you can open and close it and you can put stickers in, pull it out, move it wherever you need to move it. So yeah, these are super cute. I got these from um, Cat Espresso, no, Honey Bee Shot too. That's cute, maybe I'll put a picture of me and my kids right there. I like that. Um, and then I have one that says aunt. So maybe I'll put, this is my favorite sticker. <laughs> this is from the Iron Giant. If you don't know, you should watch it. <laughs> it's amazing. It's one of the best ever. Um, 
But yeah, I'm gonna put this in here. See if it'll fit sideways so that doesn't get mad. Uh, is it gonna fit? So I don't mess it up. That's really cute. Yeah, I'm gonna play around with this a lot. This came with it and it's pretty much perfect pocket size, huh? Let's pinch that and stick that in. This came from um Cat Espresso Co. That's really pretty. Put that underneath. And I'm gonna fill stuff out. I'm gonna write in it. I ordered some shorter pins because I wasn't, or actually I haven't ordered shorter pins. I have them in my cart because I wasn't sure how like it would fit in with a pen. Let's see. That's not bad. It's pretty much exactly the size of the planner. So yeah, that's not too shabby. I want to put something right here, but I'm just not sure what to put there. I have a couple little charms I'm gonna to have to dig out that I got from Kubo and Lucy. So I'll probably put one right there. And what I'm probably gonna do is I'll probably stop here. I just wanted to show you guys like the bare bones of putting stuff together. Um, all of this stuff that I got for free um, from uh, Peanuts Planner Co. You just have to join the Facebook group and it's like all on there for free, um, which is amazing. I always appreciate stuff like that, especially when you're talking about yearly calendars, you know, I've got the blank note pages in here, um, which is probably just going to be for stuff like on the go, um, planning, maybe keep this planner in my car for times when I'm waiting for someone to pick them up or, you know, whatever like that, you know how that is. You end up sitting around waiting for people. Um, some notes that I can do a little scripture study in here. Also keep a little track of uh, when I'm accomplishing my goal which is reading the bible daily and yeah so peanuts planner co is the majority where i got this stuff amazon i'll link what i can as some plans um mo term cat's presto co honeybee shop this is from pookie bird cuties um this pen let's see how it writes on this paper this is the jet stream it's a uni ball jet stream I was trying to read it. You need about jet stream. Uh, this is, I believe, in point seven. That's pretty much what I buy all of my pens. And oh no, this is 1.0. Point seven or 1.0. So let's just see. Um, yeah. So it's pretty dark. It writes pretty smoothly. Yeah, there's no bleeding on that of course I left it for a couple seconds I'll probably keep this in here for now and then I will probably um I love how they've made this elasticated on the back so that it hangs out over the edge a little bit so it's a little bit easier on your stuff and like your inserts and everything like I said this is the regular pocket this is not the luxe um they do have the luxe on sale right now on AliExpress which just means it's a little bit bigger and it has a different layout. So right here, it's a little bit different. So I'm going to play with a couple more things. I'll do a flip probably on Instagram, which I have it completely done. Or I might actually, I'll just come back on here and do a flip. But this is kind of just like a mini setup of it. I think it's really cute. I think this is going to be a lot of fun to play with and kind of fill out. I'm thinking, like I said, I'm thinking I'm going to use these for like a word a day. So... I love vocabulary, I love learning new things, and so I'm gonna try to kind of set it up like that just to have available. Get some more pictures of me and my family in here, make a few lists, um, things to do. I was thinking at one point to do part of this as like, like for a car planner to have in there, have in the glove box with maybe like my insurance cards that I have in there, maybe keep like anything else I have in there that I need to keep for the car and then a maintenance list. So I might do, and I know that they have specific inserts for stuff like that, but I don't really want to buy anything else. So I could just do car maintenance and then keep a track of like oil changes, tire rotation, stuff like that. So I'm thinking to set that up in the back and then put a little stickers in here. And then I've got to find a couple more cute, either little pictures or, um, yeah, none of those will fit in there. Let's see if I can put that in there. That would be cute. <laughs> That's cute. 
I like it. Okay, so that's it for this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye-bye.